Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, welcome to my channel. My name is Kat, and I'm a flight attendant with a major U.S. airline. You guys, <laughs> crew scheduling called me at 5 a.m. to tell me that I'm not just working, but I'm doing a four day. <laughs> I have not done a four day since probably right out of training. Pretty dang close to right out of training. That's the last time I did a four day. I do not do four days. Like on that fourth day, I'm just cranky and unpleasant. And so I just avoid them. I just don't do it. I just don't do it. I'm not exactly sure what the layovers are. I don't remember. What am I doing today? Okay, so I just had to look at the trip because I could not remember what the day one was. So I believe today is Dallas to Minneapolis, Minneapolis to Dallas, and then Dallas to Tucson. And today is our ultra super short layover of 10 hours. <laughs> Oh my gosh. So hopefully we're not delayed up at any point or else it's gonna get real short. Not only did crew scheduling assign me a four day, but guess what position I am? Yeah, that's right. I am the lead position. <laughs> You guys, I can just throw this whole trip away. This is like my worst nightmare. Like my worst nightmare. Like I have nightmares about this. Like night terrors, truly. About four days, lead position, position one. I'm just like, ugh. Okay, well, I'm in the employee lot right now. So I guess let's collect our things and go crawl into the DFW airport. Get through security, find our gate, and get this day started. but we were an hour delayed. Now we're here, we had to switch us planes, but we have no pilots. So we're kind of just waiting to see what happens. I'm gonna go ahead and set everything up, check my equipment, do my crew duties, and we'll see what happens. We're now on a nine hour layover and counting down. <laughs> feels so good to be in this bed right now. <laughs> you guys, I had such a good day today. I met so many amazing passengers. I even met some of you guys, which is awesome. It was great. But with that being said, this is a long day. Your girl is tired. So the first two flights went according to plan. So when we went to Minneapolis and back, they were great. But when we landed back in Dallas, our third flight already showed a delay. Basically, they took our plane and gave it to somebody else, so we had to wait on a new plane that was coming in later. And then, once we got to the plane, we didn't have pilots because they took our pilots and put them somewhere else, so we had to get new pilots. We are now pushed to minimum rest, so we went from 10 hours rest to eight something, which sucks. I feel like eight is not nearly enough because you have to think about it. Like you have to have time to shower, to eat, to sleep, to get ready the next morning and to be gone. And so I'm like to do all of that in eight hours is a lot. The only good thing though is when we were in Dallas, once we got a notification about the delay, we all went to Panera, had this cute little crew dinner, break, lunch. I don't know what it is. Bro lunch? Liner? Stop it. Get some help. I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, we all ate together. Then I also got a salad to go because I was like, I'm feeling something's not gonna sit right on this one. <laughs> so I ate my salad on this last flight. So now I am full. I don't have to worry about food. So basically I just need to wash my face, brush my teeth, do my skincare, and let's go to bed because we have a really, 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 really early wake up. <laughs> Get away from every little thing just to try to make it through. Good 
Good morning, everybody. I actually feel like well rested, like not too well rested. I don't want to go overboard. It was still a very short layover, but I actually feel fairly rested. <laughs> I feel like I got a decent nice sleep today. We are working two flights We are going from Tucson to Dallas Then we have about an hour sit before we do Dallas to Austin where we're gonna be laying over tonight as long as everything goes <laughs> According to plan, we should have a 15 and a half hour layover and get into Austin around two o'clock in the afternoon. And hopefully everything is good. It's smooth sailing, better than yesterday. <laughs> yesterday was still good. It was just long. It was a very tiring day, but I have about 15 minutes. So I'm gonna go ahead, get changed into my uniform, get my stuff packed up and let's go downstairs. <laughs> but I must admit to having such a motive Welcome to good old Austin, Texas. I can already look around and tell you I love this hotel room. Like, let me show you this one. So it has a little coffee bar. Then we come out to the closet. We have this big old open bath, which I love. This bed, I don't know what it is, but it looks extra comfy. And then have a little seat over here, the desk and the TV. What does our view look like? Looks like a little garden view. That's not bad. Sorry, there's like a white cover here, but hopefully y'all can still see it. You guys, I am the biggest idiot of all idiots. Y'all would not believe what I did. Not once, but I did it twice. I had food delivered to the hotel and then they just dropped it off at this table, took a really sketchy picture and they didn't say anything. And I was like, that's weird. And then I couldn't find it. And I even went to the front desk and I was like, do you know where this table is? And they're like, all right, I don't think that table's here. I don't have a clue. So then I was like, okay. So I go through DoorDash and I was like, my order didn't get here, this, that, and the other. And then, <laughs> and then they give me like $10 in credits and they said, we're out for delivery again. So I was like, okay, great. So then the guy was like, once again, he's like, I can't find your room. I set your food here. And he's like, you have another plate of food here. <laughs> and shows me the same picture of the table. And I was like, why? Where is this table? I got this hotel in the last hotel confused. So I have now had two orders of food delivered completely to the wrong hotel. <laughs> oh my God, that is so embarrassing. I, I basically just took money and threw it in the trash can. So um, I guess third time's a charm. Like let's, <laughs> let's go. Look what is here, only two hours later. <laughs> it's so bad. I think it's even more than that. So I think it's like two and a half hours later. But the food is finally here, you guys. I'm so mortified, I couldn't even, I had ordered the last two meals from Freebirds just because it was like Tex-Mex, I wanted some Tex-Mex. <laughs> and I was so embarrassed, they've already made my food twice with my name on it. I was like, I can't order three times from Freebirds with my name on it, the exact same order. I was like, they're going to know, like they're gonna know something is wrong. So I ordered Torchies, I love Torchies. Um, I probably should have ordered something local, but you know, Torchies have the best ratings. Like there's not really a lot of Tex-Mex around me, surprisingly, and the stuff that is around me had very low ratings. Also surprising, cause it's like Texas, but anyways, I got some Torchies, let's open her on up. <laughs> Oh my God, I feel so stupid. Okay, so I did two tacos. I did the brush fire taco. This is like a Jamaican jerk chicken. I love it. And then I did the trailer park taco and this was like a chicken strip or something. I've never had this one. And then I also got a little mini queso in there. Oh baby, I'm full. I ate some of the food. I threw the rest, wrapped it up, threw it in the fridge. I feel like I can actually go into like a food coma. So I guess that's one way to fall asleep, but I don't think anything more interesting is gonna happen tonight. I think I'm about to get ready for bed and, and pass out. So unless y'all wanna hear me snore real loud for, for a few hours, I think this will be it. <laughs> so I will see you guys bright and early, like early, early tomorrow um, for day three. <laughs> Good morning, you guys. Right now it's 
3.38 in the morning. I don't know if y'all could see that. I actually woke up once again before my alarm clock. I woke up a few times throughout the night. Like one time there were like people screaming in the hallway and I was like, oh my God, keep it down. And then I look at my phone, it was 10 o'clock. That's just how early I went to bed. Because I woke up so early, we have plenty of time to get ready. So I'm gonna jump in the shower, probably make some coffee in the room. Please let it be good. <laughs> Please let it be good. It's just too early for the coffee to be bad. So today we're gonna work two flights. We are going from, I had to think about where we were. We are going from Austin back up to Dallas. So a quick one. I think we have another like hour sit and then we do uh, Dallas. <laughs> It's too early. My brain is not functioning. So we do Austin to Dallas, have an hour sit, and then we do Dallas to Sacramento. Um, and in Sacramento, I believe we have like a 17-hour layover, so nice and long. Hopefully the weather is beautiful and we can get outside and actually do something. Um, and then, yeah. <laughs> Okay, I'm all ready. I'm actually surprised. I just had so much time for activities today. So anyways, let's get our stuff together. I'm gonna put all of my bags over there, over here, and we're gonna head out the door and work two amazing, awesome, fabulous flights today. <laughs> just got on our last flight. We're in Dallas right now. We went and got some food on our sit. It was a little bit longer than I thought. It was an hour 30 total. So we're supposed to board here in about like 15 minutes or so, but right now we don't have cleaners yet. We don't have pilots yet. So I'm going to go ahead, get everything set up and I will see you guys when we land. Sacramento. So this is our longest layover of the trip. It's a nice 17 hours. And funny enough, we're actually staying with the pilots pretty much for the rest of the trip. On the last leg, they're gonna be deadheading and we're gonna be working. But today was great. It actually went pretty fast, very uneventful. And uneventful lately is good. We love a good uneventful flight. <laughs> So um, I'm gonna unpack and start getting ready. Me and the rest of the crew, except for one person, are gonna go meet, get some food, maybe grab a drink on the layover. So I'm excited about that. So let's get everything situated. <laughs> Oh my gosh, we are finally back in the hotel. So we went out to this barbecue place. We basically went the entire crew except for one person and just hung out, ate, talk. It was fabulous. The food was phenomenal. But now I'm back in the hotel and I'm fighting sleep so hard. I try to keep all the lights on and keep like the blinds open. They're closed now, but <laughs> I try to keep everything open so that way I'm like, you're not gonna fall asleep. You're not gonna fall asleep. You're gonna stay awake. And even still, I'm like dozing off. Like four days are hard. I forgot how hard and how challenging these are. Like, especially these early morning wake up four days. Like, oh my gosh. Like normally I would be out exploring like every single time that I'm on a layover, but this four day has officially kicked my butt. I am not gonna lie. Like I'm just tired. So, I'm gonna watch some YouTube and I'm gonna do my absolute best to fight sleep. I'm gonna try so hard not to go to sleep so that way I can actually get a good night's rest tonight because tomorrow <laughs> we have a 3.45 a.m. wake up. It's go home day, but that is early. Like That's real early. We're gonna have a 4.45 shuttle time Tomorrow we're gonna be working two flights, I believe. I'm gonna have to check the schedule and get back to you on, on what that looks like tomorrow, but I'm tired, y'all. I'm so tired. Today is go home day, woo! <laughs> I have to look at, at my phone to even see like what the schedule or the plan is for today. I honestly have absolutely no idea. Actually, I think, it, yeah, I don't know. 
Okay, so I went and got some coffee brewing and now I pulled up my schedule. It looks like we're going Sacramento to Chicago. Do we have a sit? Not really. And then we're gonna go Chicago to Dallas and pretty much be done, but I'm moving extra. <laughs> I'm moving extra slow today. So I really need to get the ball rolling and start getting ready. Otherwise we're gonna be working like this today. <laughs> Okay, so I have all of my bags finally packed up and it's finally go home day. Woohoo! I'm excited. Four days are just really long and they feel really long. So the fact that I'm probably gonna go home tonight and then be out right again tomorrow for a fifth and a sixth day. <laughs> We're just not gonna think about it one day at a time. So my stuff is finally packed. It's time to go get the shuttle. We're gonna head to the airport, work two really good flights today and be done, at least until tomorrow. <laughs> Dallas is having weather, they have been for a few hours, so they are on a ground stop, and they've been on a ground stop. I think they're supposed to come off in about 10 minutes, so the captain is on the phone with dispatch. We're trying to figure everything out. Hopefully, we leave and land on time, but I'm gonna go ahead and finish setting everything up, make sure I have everything in my galley, get everything ready, and I'll let y'all know. <laughs> What an absolutely insane day. You guys, I broke a nail. <laughs> But besides that, so basically we loaded everybody up, we went to the tarmac, we were about to take off, then all of a sudden we had to go back to the gate. We got hit with a two and a half hour delay. The two and a half hour delay turned into a three hour delay. Back at the gate, we had to get everybody set up. We had to do a quick service on the tarmac before we finally got clearance to take off again. We just got lucky and landed. But once we got there, they switched our gate. Then we didn't have a jet bridge driver, so we had to wait on that and wheelchairs and all that good stuff so it has been a long one a very long one <laughs> this is so long and then to top it off the cherry on top crew scheduling hit me with that 9 a.m standby shift tomorrow because i'm still good for two days on reserve so tomorrow morning bright and early i've got to be back up at the airport so right now it's 7 30 let's go say hi to chip and the dogs hi babies it's been a long four days did you miss me did you miss me? <laughs> Mom, you miss me? Hi, baby. <laughs> Look what I came home to. Chippy got me some poke, so once I got home, I got a big bowl to eat. So I'm gonna go ahead, get changed, eat some food, fix my nails, and start getting ready for tomorrow. So if you did enjoy this crazy video, go ahead and give it a big old thumbs up, press that subscribe button, subscribe button. <laughs> and I will see you guys next time, bye.